I'm Sergeant Corey Slamek with Smashport Police Department. Each year we average nearly seven auto pedestrian accidents. These accidents resulting in serious injuries to the victims. Throughout this video program you will see drivers that appropriately stop for the pedestrian and drivers that fail to yield for the pedestrian. It is our goal to educate the public on the importance of yielding to pedestrians. Utah Legal Code states that when traffic control signals are not in place or not in operation, the operator of a vehicle shall yield the right-of-way by slowing down or stopping if necessary. The operator of a vehicle approaching a school crosswalk shall come to a complete stop at the school crosswalk if a vehicle is stopped at a marked crosswalk or at any unmarked crosswalk at an intersection to permit a pedestrian to cross the roadway. The operator of any other vehicle approaching from the rear may not overtake and pass the stopped vehicle. There are many crosswalks in Spanish Fork that do not have traffic lights. In the following example, motorists make an appropriate stop for pedestrians crossing the street. In this take, you can see that the vehicles make appropriate stops and are yielding to the pedestrian. Does a pedestrian need to have a flag? The motorists here are observant and stop even when the pedestrian does not have a flag. The flags are only used for visibility as the pedestrian is crossing the street. There is no state law that says a pedestrian has to carry a flag. It is against the law to overtake a vehicle that is stopped at a crosswalk. Notice the motorcycle and the sedan that overtake the stopped vehicle. Notice the SUV that is thinking about overtaking the stop sedan. Watch what happens when they realize why the sedan has stopped. A lot of our auto pedestrian accidents happen in this instance right here where there is one vehicle that is stopped and a second vehicle overtakes a stopped vehicle. Here are some more clear violations of motorists overtaking a stopped vehicle at a crosswalk. What would you consider an appropriate distance to maintain between you and the pedestrian? The state law says that you must stop behind the crosswalk and allow the person to safely cross the street. If drivers are not watching for pedestrians, they may find themselves slamming on the brakes. If you'll notice the PT Cruiser and the sedan, they nearly overtake a stopped vehicle and the second vehicle nearly rear ends the first vehicle. Drivers need to make sure that they're paying attention to not only what's ahead of them but also vehicles to the side of them as they are slowing down for some unknown reason. Here's another example of a motorist more concerned about the speed that they're going rather than the safety of a pedestrian. If you notice the pedestrian is well off the curb and several vehicles are failing to yield to the pedestrian, that truck there is in a quick hurry to get through rather than stopping and yielding to the pedestrian to allow them to safely cross the roadway. In this example, the far lanes of traffic seem to have the more observant motorist. The pedestrian is hesitant to cross because in her lanes, on her half of the roadway, the vehicles are failing to yield where you notice the dump truck and the van have clearly stopped allowing the pedestrian to cross safely across the street. Here's another example of the motorist on the far side of the crosswalk paying better attention than the motorist closest to the pedestrian. You can see the pedestrian is well into the roadway and cars are failing to yield where the vehicles on the opposite half of the roadway have already stopped and yielding to the pedestrian. You need to remember that if the pedestrian is on your half of the roadway, you must stop and yield to that pedestrian. How many steps into the street does a pedestrian need to take before being seen? If you know this pedestrian is clearly into the roadway attempting to cross the street, these vehicles are failing to yield. If you notice the green vehicle that just stopped, she's well into the crosswalk forcing the pedestrian to have to go out around the vehicle. 
Notice here that not only is this a clear violation, but the pedestrian has to stop and wait for the motorist. Notice the pedestrian is clearly into the roadway and is hesitant to continue across because vehicles are going so fast and failing to yield to the pedestrian. It's our goal as a police department to reduce the number of auto pedestrian accidents that we have to zero. Drivers need to make sure that they scan ahead, that they stop and yield to pedestrians, and make sure that they don't overtake another vehicle that is stopped for a pedestrian. If we all work together, we can accomplish this goal of zero auto pedestrian accidents each year.